Uh, tonight we're going to talk about, you know, we're going to get off into the election, you know. That's the most one of the most important things that's coming up. It's very important, y'all, you know. Hey, if you believe what them folks say, y'all, get out there and vote. You feel me? You know. Like as black folks, they said people die for us to have the right to vote. So get out there and vote. You feel me? Do y'all do diligence and for y'all to uh, feel like y'all part of this great democracy. You feel me? So do your duty or do your due diligence. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to keep this thing rolling. And uh, I want to know... Uh, well, what is your perception or your your thoughts on this, on this upcoming election, 2024? We got the king, the Teflon Don, Donald <laughs> Trump, you know, coming back for vengeance, you, you feel me? And uh, the Indian woman, what's her name? Carmella Harris. Mm-hmm. So what, what's your thoughts? Right, Vice president, let me put some respect on that woman's right, name. Man. about her cleaning her fucking greens in a bathtub have really just blew my mind. The whole thing about her talk about she listened to Tupac back when she was in college, bitch. Tupac wasn't out when you were in college. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just... So she just see full of shit in other words. Basically. Just yeah. like a politician. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying she's 60 something odd years old. Damn, for real? Yeah. And I give it to her. She looks nice for her. Yeah, you ain't lying. I thought she was probably like in her 50s or whatever. Yeah, but you know, we is also pictures of her. Like, she almost was in a mix of, you know, celebrities. Oh, getting tossed up. Right. Maybe she was in that Tupac video, tossed up. Joe Brown said she ain't nothing but a hoe. He said he was a... Shout out to Judge Joe Brown, the OG, triple OG. Mm -hmm. He said she wasn't nothing but a hoe. He said he was a pimp in Memphis. He know a hoe when he see one. And she ain't nothing but a hoe. But he want to know what pimps do she work for. Ooh, could be Joe (laughs) Biden. Whatever the fuck his yeah, name is. Yeah, that too, you know, Joe. Oh, he don't give a fuck. No Allegedly, she's was out there hoeing and prostituting I and mean, all that, you know, know selling selling that trap. You know, he said he met her daddy. He sat next to him for two hours. Um, he asked him what was his race, and he told him Irish and Indo. Indo. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So therefore, as in Indonesia, yeah. Okay. And he uh, said, so there's no black people in your family. And he said no. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what Kamala got going on. Mm-hmm. She, she needs to stop. Well, she was cooking greens in the bathtub. She said she used to clean her greens. Oh, she used. Oh, they had no. Oh, I thought they had like video of her cleaning no, greens. No, she said she cleaned her greens. Basically in her bathtub in her dorm, and um, nigga, that just come from the south. Nigga, the south ain't never done no shit like that. Yeah. Um, that's gross. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. How do you clean your greens in a tub where you wash your ass? <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying pee in the tub, your ass in the tub, your whole body, everything you didn't dealt with outside is rinsed off in that tub. Well, that just lets you know that she don't have any black, uh, uh, what the fuck you call that? Like, uh, handlers around her yeah, that they put her up on the, on the black culture. That lets you know the bitch the ends black and, and out. Yeah. she don't know nothing about black people because if she did, she wouldn't have said that. True. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, in a tub. I mean, I... <laughs> You know, you wouldn't even put chitlins in a tub and clean them. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And we nah, all I know that not. greens got a, well, greens that's 
you know, been picked and shit like that. We know they got a weird smell to them. Mm -hmm. Can't get that smell out of your tub just any kind of way. Like, you have yeah. to use some vinegar, you have to use something. Yeah, that, 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 that's uh, that's but, nasty work, as the yeah. young folks would say. And I know Tupac don't appreciate her lying on him. Bitch, he wasn't even in the game when you were in college. Mm -hmm. well, you know, she got to try to get in what she fit in with because she need that, that black boat. the wrong way. You lying and saying things like that. You know, you you, you didn't offend me, bitch, when you said that you put them in the tub. Like, what are you saying? Because that's not what black people do. Like, did, that offended me. Did she come back and apologize for No, the bitch is stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she thinks she said something. She thinks she got the black vote. She not Hillary Clinton, you know? Like, Hillary Clinton thought the same thing. Like, oh, I got the nigga vote. Like, hold well, on, bitch. We don't know you. Mm -hmm. We know your husband. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how I feel about it. Oh, okay. You know, um, Donald Trump, I just wish he'd go home, you know what I'm saying, and sit in his big mansion and his billions of acres and just chill, you know, watch the sunset, bitch. But they need a great antagonist, you feel me? This story needs a great antagonist, and he's the greatest. It's almost like Obama, like, it's like they, it's like this has to happen. It has, has to. to have a, so she's gonna win because she has to win because it's part of it. Yeah, because so. Trump, like at first I thought Trump was gonna win it because you know because Trump got a hell of a caught following. Man, he got some folks that love his draws. You feel me? Plus he out there taking shots and you know getting getting shot at it again. But I could fuck with him though. But hold That's on, hold on, saying. look, look, hold on. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> So I just knew he was about to, like, ain't no way in the world this motherfucker, this, this, this woman gonna beat the great Donald Trump, you know, and, and all his supporters. And this motherfucker is a true motherfucking rock star. And us Americans, we love our motherfucking rock stars, you feel? Be that nigga, he, he uh, like I said, he the Don Dotter, the Teflon Don. They been trying to lock this nigga up years now so I just knew he about to come in there and just man just wipe her the fuck out you feel me talk shit about her blase blase but I don't know for some odd reason man he just been out there just shooting himself in the foot like he just been saying some crazy shit that kind of it's like you know when he ran the first time and maybe the second time as well you know he was saying some, some controversial shit but he was saying some real shit. You may not like it. He was kind of like Charleston White. He's How motherfuckers, you know, he telling the truth, even That's though you what may I'm saying, not and like. I respect that because he's the same way all the time. Yeah. You see Kamala Harris. You know what I'm saying? She with the white people. She, you know, she talking like them. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, just what it is. She, she get over here with black people and. You know what I'm saying? Only thing she can say is she know how to make cornbread. Yeah. So, and nothing she says. She couldn't even answer no questions on the debate. She did not answer a question. She just, you know, it was yesterday. We're focused on yesterday and not today because yesterday is today. Bitch, what the fuck did you just say? Hey, some Sesame Street shit. You exactly. Know. But, uh... Yeah, hey, Trump, I, I just don't see it, you know, because uh, he just, you know, he ain't, uh, he doing a hell of a shitty ass job trying to get reelected, man, you just can't, it just seems like he just, he's purposely throwing the election, you know, but I get it, you know, like I said, his part is to play the, the great antagonist and I think the country is trying to move, you know, it's trying to move more being diverse, diversity, inclusion. So, I mean, you know, they have to put the, the first woman in office. It, it's just, it's just the way it is. You know, me per se, I feel like this may be controversial, but I don't think women make good leaders. That's why she wouldn't get my vote. But. I know enough to know that she won't be running shit, even if she do get elected because the presidents, they don't run shit. It's they handlers and, 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 uh, and the uh, 
the powers that be that dictates policies and all that good stuff. She's just a figurehead. She just represents, she's going to represent this big, great corporation called America. Well, the United States of America, you feel me? So, I don't know, man. I think she's going to win. I think she's going to pull it out. But uh, just because that's the way they want it to be. But, you know, it is what it is. What you say? You think she, well, I think you did kind of allude to that she's going to win. Fake assassination. You know what I'm saying? He fucked that up then. Like, people was already hesitant on you.